Hey, Oxygen Builders, welcome to my next video. I wanted to do a quick video um, to help everyone out. It's something I spent probably a little over an hour messing around with, and hopefully by me doing this, it'll make your guys' lives way easier. So what I'm showing you here today is I have a Oxygen Pro menu component and just the regular menu component. And what I wanted to do is make it a little more accessible friendly. So you see if we hover over about or services, we get our sub menu. But if we go ahead and tab through this, you can see that we get the focus ring around home and about, but it does not open up our sub menu when we do that. And that's true on the pro menu and the regular menu components. So what we're gonna to do today is make it so that when we're focused on these by hitting tab on our keyboard, it's gonna open this and allow us to even tab through the sub menu. So I have a few snippets of code that I'll uh, make available in the description below for you guys. Um, so let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna go over to my oxygen template All right, so now that we're in Oxygen, let's go ahead and open our structure panel. And we are first gonna start with our pro menu. So with this one, we're only gonna use a code block. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure I have my row left selected, go up to the left corner, hit add. I'm just gonna type in code, get my code block, and it should put that right below my pro menu. I do that just to make sure that it's close to the item that it's uh, we're using the code for. So in this case, if we click on the PHP, we can delete out what we have in there. We click the little back arrow, and now we're going to go over to our CSS. And all I'm going to do is go over to my link here, again, that I'm providing in the description for the pro menu. And we are just going to copy all of this code. Go back into my editor, paste this in, and hit apply. And we do have to make sure that when we do this, we have both a focus and focus within for all of the items that we're trying to show and make visible um, within our um, sub menu. We also see that I have um, this other code here. And this is just to make sure that when we're using focus just to begin with, which I will show you here, that we get a nice white border around it to start before you saw. And when we get over to the right-hand side here, in our next menu, you see we just had this little uh, dotted border and that's not super uh, noticeable. So I just wanted to make it a little bit more noticeable. So you'll see here that it's just a two pixel white border with uh, four pixel round corners. And you'll see when we tab over to our sub menu that it's actually dropping that down now. And we can go ahead and tab through that as well. And there you go. So going back into my code block and I'll just walk through this a little bit. So I covered the top two, which is just covering um, our top items here to make sure that when we're tabbed over to about, for instance, it's going to uh, make the opacity and visibility um, for our sub menu. And then, like I said, we made a border around the menu items. And then next, this is doing the same thing, but for our sub menu items. So that's as simple as it is for the pro menu. So I'm gonna hit apply code collapse that, click save. Now next we're gonna go over to our regular menu. And this one I'm gonna do slightly different. So in this one, when I'm clicked on menu, you'll see I have the ability to use style outputs, which is also our selector detector. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and then choose our menu items. You'll see this little green line around all these and that it's got the different items selected here. You click this little pencil here, it's gonna allow us to choose those again. So we have our oxygen nav menu, our nav menu list, LI menu item, and A. So if you keep all of these selected, we're gonna come up to state, 
and add state, and we are going to add focus and click OK. And then we're going to go to advanced and border, and we're going to choose the same as we did before. So a white background, two picks, solid, and a border radius of four. So that's going to match what we did here. And again, you can choose what you want um, for your specific styling. I have a dark background here, so I'm using white. You could also do, you know, dotted to switch it up a little bit or dashed. We'll do dashed on this one just to make it slightly different than the other one. And now if we um, click on our primary and click away, you'll see that goes away. And I'll just tap through that a little bit so you can see that. And you can see in this one, we're still not getting that drop down yet. So what I'm going to do is click on my right row now and go ahead and add another code block in. And you can see it actually put it up there. So I'm just going to drop this down. And in this one, we're going to do the same thing. Delete out our PHP. Come down to our CSS. And now we're going to grab our oxygen menu component code. And we're going to just drop that in. And this one's very similar. The only thing you'll see is we're missing the one bit of CSS that we had in the pro menu, which was what we just did with our selector detector. So I'm just showing you two different ways to do that. You can write it directly out in your code block, or you can use the selector detector to do it. So basically, I, I did the same exact thing with selector detector. So now I'm going to go back over to our code here. And but one thing I am going to change in this one is uh, we did solid in our last one and this one we did dash. So I'm just going to change that here quick and click apply and we're going to collapse that down. And you'll see that in the back end of oxygen, it says no code found here, but in the front end, that's not going to show. So now I'm going to tab through here on home now, go over to about, and you see we get our drop down now. And if I hit tab again, it's going to go down to our next item. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click off this, click save, and we'll jump over to our front end, click refresh so that we're on the live front end, and we'll tab through it now. And all right, you can see that this is working. And it looks like our um, sub menu here is being a little bit goofy because of the um, effects that we have on it. So you would have to change those to make sure that it works properly. I'm not going to do that in this video. I just wanted to show um, how to get it to work as you're tabbing through. And as you see, it does bring up the menu. And now we're over to our normal menu component. And this one's doing the same thing, allowing us to do it. And this one's acting much better because we don't have any crazy effects to get the submenu coming up from the bottom like this one does. But the point of this video is just to be able to tab through and get these this submenu to open up just from our keyboard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this saves you guys a ton of time um, not having to figure out what this specific code was. And I wanted to make sure I did it for both the pro menu and the normal menu component. So like I said, I'll have these links down in the description. And thanks for watching.